What's going on guys? Your host AK here and since the response to my last video was pretty good when I went through a couple of weapon modifications I thought we'd do that again only this time we'd do it a bit differently. So I'm going to start with one of the most favorite guns that most people use is a very good gun the M4A1. We're going to make five different variants of it. I'm going to try and make the variants fit a select niche. So for instance close quarters battle medium range gunfighting long range gunfighting and then a sort of wild card just completely bash it bonkers just want to point out one thing i do have a cold so every now and then i might mute my microphone to blow my nose um i might be sniffly i'll generally sound like death warmed up so anyway let's begin for this one we're going to make it as small as possible we're going to make it <coughs> a, a mini little like you know run and gun love vest really so we're gonna go with now you see the thing that I want to point out is okay so here we go this is the thing that I've noticed right so put that on the gun yeah that makes the ADS speed very fast however that also increases mobility and reduces control so what that does is it means that when you aim down your gun you can move faster it actually helps a lot a lot a lot so we're gonna go with uh, that one there to increase the ADS and under barrel because we're going to be running the gunning I think a Merc foregrip would probably be good <coughs> uh, tactical foregrip is quite good in the fact that it adds stability as well excuse me I had to cough um, but overall the operator foregrip adds you know a little bit more to the pie if that makes sense we've put the tactical foregrip on the operator foregrip increases mobility ever so slightly, improves the accuracy and the range, but reduces control. So we're going to go with the operator foregrip on that one. Now, I use this gun pretty much without a sight all the time, so that's what we're going to do here. Um, <coughs> put a nice cam on it. There we go. Got the business. So that's our close quarters battle M4. Okay. I mean, we could take it one step further, actually, if you wanted to. Um, we could technically take that off entirely and change it so it has a 32 round 9mm <coughs> conversion. So now it's even lighter, it's even more ridiculously sort of spacked out for close quarters engagements. <coughs> I would actually like to have a pistol, some sort of a foregrip on it though, if I'm honest. Because a foregrip will help. So look, that actually reduces mobility if you look at it ever so slightly. Obviously a bipod wouldn't do anything to it. <clears throat> so I think in that respect, having a foregrip probably wouldn't do so well. Yeah, we'll definitely stick with the pistol grip there. Yeah, that would actually rec reduce our mobility, so we're not going to have that. So this is all spacked out, so it's super duper. So it's all sort of close range. So there you go, that's the close range one done. Now we're going to go for sort of a medium range. So <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people use this before. The stock M16. That's custom 19 inch M16A4 style barrel. Increases muzzle velocity and extends range. Additional weight and stabilizes shocks but hinders mobility. Hmm. Well, seeing as it's going to be medium range, I'm going to put attack light on it so it increases the ADS speed but it's not as drastic as the 11 inch one because it's still it's still medium range. <coughs> we don't need to put a laser on it because it's medium range and the scope we're going to put on it I think that's the business. Right so now we need uh, movement speed, aim down sight speed, walk speed. Um, yeah actually it's fair right? I might put... We go back to this one. Put the stubby on that. So, we've got the close quarters gun on a sort of close map, and as you can see, we've got a sort of defensive objective. Right. Although, to be honest, I kind of want to have it. I'm honest, I might put a merc before. The lead is ours. Keep pushing. I'm just gonna try and hit fire this time. Or I might hit it. I don't know 
think we need that one. We definitely need it. Focus. Yeah, Merc core grip, not with this rubberized crystal grip. Ah. Enemies in the area. Oh, taking fire. Both objectives lost. Move in. We're taking Bravo. You're needed at sea!
oh, you're still here. Well, that's great. Well, I'm going to pop off. I have a cup of tea. I have a cup of cheeky biscuits. Might have some pink wafers. Not really sure. Pink Panther team, anyone? Anyway, so, you know the drill. Click a video if you like it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.